The G203 Light Sync from Logitech packs in a ton of modern features for a budget-friendly retail price of about 39 US dollars, but I've seen it go on sale on Amazon for as little as $15, and at that price, this just might be the best value for money that you can get for a gaming mouse. So let's check it out. In the box, we get some user safety and warranty info, a gigantic Logitech G sticker so that you can advertise for Logitech if you want to, a little card that says, thanks for buying the mouse, and it also shows off some other G series products. And the G203 mouse comes wrapped up for protection during shipping, and this is the white version, but it's also available in black, blue, and a light purple color that they call lilac. If you're somebody that's familiar with Logitech's gaming mice, then you're probably looking at this G203 and thinking that it looks a whole lot like the G305. And if you're thinking that, you're absolutely right, because I have one of those right here, and the two look pretty much identical. In fact, the dimensions and the shape are identical. So the only real differences here are that the G305 over here is of course wireless, it doesn't have any RGB lighting, and it uses an upgraded hero sensor. The G203 weighs about 85 grams according to Logitech, and I did weigh it myself, and my scale seems to agree. Now 85 grams is not ultra lightweight by today's standards, but I do think it's a nice comfortable middle ground weight that's good for a variety of different tasks like everyday computing, office type stuff, and of course gaming. The build quality is good, especially at this price point. There doesn't seem to be any loose or rattling parts if you shake it. It feels pretty solid and well made in your hand and I get a good confident feeling from it that it's not going to break if I knock it off my desk or throw it up against the wall when I'm raging during gaming or something like that. So that's a good thing and it's also got a nice Nice strong cable connection at the front that doesn't feel like it's gonna pull out or become loose over time. What it lacks though is any kind of grippy textures. The whole mouse is just a hard plastic, but in general it doesn't feel too slippery in the hand. Over time though, if your hands start to heat up and get a little sweaty, I think you're probably gonna notice that a little bit. And the cable's just a basic rubber, it's 2.1 meters long, which is a decent length, but personally I would have rather traded some of that length for a braided flex cable with better performance. Logitech specs the sensor as an 8,000 DPI gaming grade sensor, but they don't provide any further details other than that, so it's probably safe to assume that they're not using their cutting edge hero sensor technology here, because if they were, they'd want to show that off and advertise it. Now 8,000 DPI might sound a little bit low, but that's all just marketing talk. Those crazy high numbers that you hear these days, 8,000 DPI should be more than enough for pretty much everyone. I personally use 800, so the G203 is offering about 10 times more than I would ever need. We get six programmable buttons on the G203, two are on the side, one's on the top. The scroll wheel's a button, and of course we have the primary click buttons. The scroll wheel's pretty good, it's wide enough to use easily, it's grippy, and it has nice sharp tactile bumps as you scroll. And Logitech's using their mechanical tensioning system for the left and right click buttons, and that provides a really nice feel that's crisp and responsive. The shape's overall more flat and low profile, and that causes my fingers to drag along the mouse pad if I'm trying to use a palm grip. And I have small to medium sized hands, so that means it's probably going to be a noticeable issue for giant handed gamers. But fingertip and claw grips are awesome on this thing, where that compact and low profile size and shape make it a really easy and natural way to hold the mouse. And I happen to be a hybrid claw and fingertip gripper, and I prefer a small compact mouse, so the G203 just feels perfect for me. And I'm also a believer that smaller mice are better and just overall more accurate for first person shooter games. So in terms of size, this should be a solid choice for games like CSGO, Overwatch, Quake, and stuff like that. The tracking performance is actually really good too. It may not use the latest and greatest 24,000 DPI sensor, but I say who cares? It performs really well and it didn't cause any issues during my time testing it, which included some ultra fast paced old school Unreal Tournament 2004 gameplay. G-Hub's where all the customization's done, including the sensitivity, the polling rate up to 1000 Hz, custom button functions and assignments, macros, and the lighting effects, where you can select from a list of the usual presets that you'd expect, and also adjust the speed and the brightness of them. And you can create your own effects if you want to by going into the freestyle and the animation tabs. And the lighting looks really good on the G203. It can get really bright and the effects are pretty cool. 
At full price, I'd say the G203 Lite Sync's a pretty good mouse, but it faces some pretty solid competition from mice like the Razer Viper Mini, which sells for about the same amount. But the big deal here with the G203 Lite Sync is that it goes on crazy sales from time to time. The one that I just showed you in this video, I bought retail from Amazon for just 15 US dollars. And at that price, this thing is unbelievable. It's just a hidden gem as far as I'm concerned if you're picking it up for a price like that. So I'm gonna put the purchasing links down in the description. If you have the patience to wait for a sale, then the G203 just might end up being the best budget gaming mouse that you can get your hands on, period. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming content. And we'll see ya.